So the first thing is to make the holes and you just oil up your fingers. I've got oil and pesto together here, so I'm gonna get my fingers all pesto-y and oily, see that? And you just pop them in like this to make little dimples all over the focaccia. It's kind of awesome. I'll show you in just a sec. Let me wipe off my hands. So you got little dimples all over it, see? Like little dimples like this. So I made all the little dimples. Now I'm going to put this pesto and oil, olive oil. I've mixed together pesto and olive oil. I'm going to just dot that around. I'm going to use my fingers again. Just spread that out all over it. Get those dimples in there. In this case, I decided to try a different flavor. I usually just do garlic, rosemary, and finishing salt, but I thought I'd try something a little different. So, there we go. See so like that. And now I'm going to sprinkle on here. I've got a mix of feta that I dried in a paper towel. Um, I crumbled up and dried it, and I've mixed in some ground Romano, or uh, some grated Romano and Parmesan. And I'm gonna just crumble that all over the top. Now this is a sourdough focaccia. So um, I didn't do it with uh, yeast, I did it with sourdough. Um, there, is, there are yeast focaccias and there's sourdough, but I have a sourdough starter, so that's what I used. And then, of course, the most important thing is the finishing salt. I love this one. That's backwards for you. Maldon sea salt flakes. Excellent, excellent, excellent finishing salt. And it is so delicious on there. So I'll get about a teaspoon. And I'm going to sprinkle that all over the top. I really like salt but there's, of course, salt in the feta as well, so I have to be careful. Okay, 